in the revenue recognition working group during the treasury management call, which was um, just uh, maybe we can do some brainstorming on um, dif different methods of kickback to the DAO. Uh, and I thought we'd do like a jam session or, or actually Grodd suggested a jam session, which I think is a great idea. It, it could be fun for us to do. Um, before we kick that off, and then and then second, I want to touch base on tokenomics 1.0, which is kind of a, a attempting to align a lot of different initiatives that are happening at the DAO and map them and keep an eye on um, bank integration. So we'll we'll talk about that a little bit today too. Um, is there anything anybody else wants to talk about or or bring up for a discussion? And uh, <laughs> yeah, cool. Go ahead. I mean, I could go ahead. No, no, hit it. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to talk? <laughs> go for it, uh, Senate. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say that I might have uh, had a conversation with people from ThriveCoin about how to create um, value for your token. Um, um, specifically, perhaps what could work uh for a community like bankless DAO and uh, what came out of this conversation was pretty interesting i wanted to hear your thoughts was roughly speaking that especially in the current state where we are uh creating value from outside is probably the way to increase uh especially the price of banks so having we we are not lagging of producing and outputs by any means I think we are actually spearheading, especially with the current market conditions. We're constantly, you know, creating potential value for the ecosystem, but there is no nothing specifically from outside to adopt it. And so I think that the key could be to think about how can we just create adoption and um, sort of, yeah, adoption from outside and um, contributions made from outside organizations. So I want to hear your thoughts, like if you're, Sort of aligned, or what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, funny, I, I was going to say exactly it's the same thing, but in a slightly different way. And I was just having a conversation with another bankless member, which the the MakerDAO being an example of of a group that is doing this, bringing real world quote unquote produced assets, and that doesn't necessarily have to be something that exists physically, but but producing something that doesn't exist before um, that people find valuable is, is how we bring value into the blockchain. And, and I mean into it in the sense that people are willing to onboard money that exists off the blockchain into the blockchain in order to access these goods and services. And... Senna, you had said something a little bit broader than that, which is, as an organization, we are a productive organization that creates value. We create newsletters. We create, uh, we we develop talent. We have projects that, um, in turn, create value. And I think it's super important to start developing internal markets um, so that the guilds. We, we sort of hire internally first, but they're always competitive with outside. You know, we can't force anyone to do anything. Everything's permissionless. But if, if people know that they can go to the development guild first and there's an avenue to be able to do that in a system where we can develop the market to do that, and, and maybe the only requirement is, not really a requirement, but that we, we ask people to kind of transact and bank first as a first choice, then that starts developing this ecosystem that is, that is, um, it's numerary is bank, which beautiful. That, yeah. hundred percent, 10, 10 million, 10 trillion, bajillion, 9 million percent. Um, this is <laughs> like, this is the, um, I think we have a huge, huge opportunity here at Bankless Dow, And I think that, and this is kind of a cool like kickoff or lead in to like a, a different and larger discussion, which is, you know, like the, the network state or like 
uh, kind of conversations around the the you know money and its importance to an ecosystem, um, but y- all these things, hundred percent. You know, I think, and this is what what I'm really trying to like uh, support with um with like the sub DAO model, which is the, the industrial like, like a relationship to the bank token. Because I think that as as you know, inter- international media nodes spent like at some point they will reach like success and and so like bankless africa is an awesome example like they're starting to kind of get this this um they're they're starting to generate their own gravity and so um uh you know ma- making sure that they maintain and have like a relationship to bankless dow and and because at some point they're going to need their own token there's just lots of things there's lots of um really cool opportunities there where it's like um, they're going to struggle at first, like they won't have liquidity. With with the sub down model, it supports a lot of their base utility needs till they start re- generating like their own um, like larger gravity. But anyway, the ecosystem though, I love like that's our uh, ecosystem and um, uh, like using bank as a base layer. I love I love the ideation, and I think um, oh here um. And I think, and if anything, and just like a short tangent, because I think that part of these sessions are like educational, part of these sessions are discussion, debate, and and um, is that we um, avoiding things like what happened with FTX. We have a, an, an unfortunately terrible, humongous example of what we should not do right in front of us, and and they basically they ponzied up. And, and so, you know, and I think what's important around that, and so it's like, like, being careful about how we, we use our assets, being careful around how we generate value, and that it is actually real value, not just rebasing, not just um, inflating. Um, And, and one of those methods likely is uh, adoption and contribution from the outside. And with like real world assets and some of these things, that's that's a great, um, great ideas. So, so I think what what we can do is, um, we can we can kind of like talk about that because that's creating value for a token, namely our token, bank. Um, uh, but how about what we do is we do this jam session. And then we move into, and then we can kind of review it and discuss it. And that might take up the whole hour. And then we can, if, but if we have additional time, we can move into discussion around creating value for the token. Cause I think it's, it's kind of the same. Like we're doing the same thing with the revenue recognition or the jam session on like revenue kickback to the DAO. Cause that is creating value for the bank. Yeah. Network. I mean that for me, at least that's what started the conversation. Right. Um, because it, it doesn't appear people it, it appears that it's more palatable to say hey here's how you can interact mm-hmm. with the DAO to bring value back um as opposed to here's your tax bill <laughs> <laughs> so hang on okay so just a key point optics are important <laughs> i i uh, think so yeah i i agree It, and it also changes, it, it actually changes the um, debate, not debate, but the conversation, That's because right. it stops going from, we we gave you something, now you give us something back, and it's now it's, how do we create something better together? And you have them, brain, them being the other side of this conversation, brainstorming about how best to do that in a way that creates value for both, both, into both sets of of players but the DAO and the project or the DAO and the guild and that's important yep and i i, I double bump that 100 percent as well like because uh, that's um that's a that's a nuance but an important one um for sure let me um because i i think that that creates downstream like cultural impact um yeah what you're also 
decentralizing that sort of brainstorming process. People That's can great. create new and innovative ways to to work together and and create value. Yeah, cool, hundred percent. And and I and and right. It's like it, it feels feels contributory versus exploitative or or like yeah, I, uh, you know negotiating or something. But um, yeah. Anyway, um, are there any other things anybody wants to add to this agenda for us to jam on? I'll take silence as a no. Um, okay, so I want to just set up real quick. So I, I linked, uh, I'm going to ping everybody in Treasury Tokenomics. Um, so I in the bank, actually I'm not. Uh, in the bank utility tokenomics channel, I, I shared the fig jam. Um, and if anybody needs a ping, give me a shout real quick. But if you click on it, it should take you to what I'm showcasing here. And if there's problems with fig uh, with with uh, Figma, let me know. Like if they make you log in or something like that, I could set this up real quick on like uh, um, Google's Jam or something. Navigating. One, do we, it, it's 16 minutes in. It would be awesome if we could break out into workrooms, but I don't think we can just ad hoc because I would like to make sure it kind of generates ideas. Mm-hmm. I, don't well, want I was gonna. I was gonna give. Let's try this format, and then if yep. if we need to try some other format, we can. Okay. Uh, and it's like if it doesn't work out, or it's like afterward, it's like hey. Um. And also, just as an FYI, like uh, there will be a a one k bounty, on, on sum summarizing the notes on this at the end. Is everybody able to see this? Or can can people navigate to it? Where did you post the link? I'm sorry, and I thought you. Said I, I can see it. I'm just having trouble um, getting it. Okay, into thanks. it, but I can see it. But I'm working on it. Yeah. If if Figma doesn't work, because I know sometimes it it has trouble. Like I can I can get us on a different platform real quick. Okay, yeah, does it is this requiring people to log in? <clears throat> Bear, are you able to get into this? Not yet, I have to log in. Okay, so it's requiring everybody to log in. That's not cool. The community. And I'm happy if we, if people want to just shout out ideas, I'm happy to play secretary and, and try to capture some of those if we just want to get moving yeah you know we might do that because it, it it seems it's forcing everybody to log in isn't it there's it well All right, so we've only got four of us in here. Um, 
think checking in is anybody else wanting to to get in on this because we got a number of us here we had an anonymous I, for a little while i can't find the link okay, here you go pinging you polio the bank utility channel see i think this is here what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to i'm going to post it to the the post the link to the uh tokenomics treasury channel that way people can see it real quick Is, is there like permissions on this? I, I can't move. I think um, Bear's having trouble to like move any of the. Um, there we, I know. changed. Oh my god! Here I'm going to set everybody to edit. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is a okay. This is this is clearly a pain. <laughs> I was hoping that this would be more, uh, more seamless, but uh, apparently, everyone at Tokenomics can can access this file so anyone with the link can edit okay everyone should be able to edit now there we go sorry about that everybody except you bear you're not allowed to edit that might have actually see if other people can join as there's some anonymous maybe they're starting to be able to hop in and do it there we go if someone is anonymous at least on here see if you can just move something Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, if perfect. Everybody, yeah, just make sure you can like you can copy and paste it and then and then uh cuz what we're going to be doing is we're going to be we're going to be dragging little things in here and then organizing them. And if for some reason you can't just holler and I'll throw your answers on if I need to. Yeah, there you go. And here, let me what I'll do is I'm going to lock this background. There you go. So, so we should be able to, you know, there you go. We won't have accidental stuff going on there. Okay. Um, all right, cool. So we, we got, we got what looks like enough people in here. We got about, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six of us in here. You know, if anybody else wants to, to join, um, uh, please do jump in there. Um, Okay, cool. So, um, so the point of this though is to, is to generate generate ideas. A pot. Are you able to see it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, beautiful. All right. So, a little, little bit of a of, of a of a fun kickoff, but you know, I think this is something I, I we may do more often to just generate ideas and, and summarize things. But it, either way, so the the point of this is to focus on ways that um, we can, like the the end goal of this is that we, we wanna come up with ideas that we can recommend to the DAO at large to um, to bring like for revenue kickback, like different models of, of uh, uh, revenue kickback to the DAO. Um, does that hit your idea, Grodd, that you were, you were kind of talking about yesterday? Um, yeah, it's, I'm not sure it's even, I would even call it as revenue kickback, but basically this idea that, um, I, I actually, I think it's more appropriate to call it the creation of internal markets and, um, internal flywheels. So there's two, two things that have been discussed and these are not my ideas. Um, but I like them. One is when there is a grant pr uh, proposal or something that, Perhaps the grant committee is, you know, thinks is okay, but a, but a particular um, group, whether that be a guild, an existing project, or a third party, really, really, really likes it, and they think it's going to create value to them, they should be allowed to basically take part of that grant and say, okay, the funding request was, say, 100,000 bank, we will we will deposit 50,000 bank um, into 
the the treasury like we have to figure out how to account for it because if it's coming out of a grant's budget then it needs to go it needs to make sure that it it's not adding to that budget but basically to say i'm going to pay for part of that proposal per as a project because it's going to be valuable to me great yeah so so the problem is we have bank emissions and we have the, the problems of like of revenue kickback you know it's it is some being adhered to some it's not so what this aim is to come up with examples of quote you know and it's not necessarily revenue kickback but like decreasing emissions and which has sometimes has the downstream effect of what you're talking about like of creating markets is that, that pretty accurate yeah okay cool because yeah right it's like um like the grant like a grant market super cool um additionally and just as like one other example that i'm going to post up is um some um Similar, it's a similar but different idea. But like uh, Bankless Consulting was chewing on the idea of of um, individually funding like Dev Guild rather than rather than um, uh, being in it, which is I guess just just a little like they might pay in a different area rather than at the grant level they might pay directly to to yeah uh, and that's different that's that's let me give uh, my version of that which is to say the dev guild is really important to us and we as bankless consulting feel like it needs more resources than the dow is willing to give it but that's okay because we're going to increase the budget directly so we're going to go out we're going to buy bank on the market and we're going to fund the dev guild and i'm assuming it's going to be payable in bank because i like that idea but we're going to we're going to pay the the guild in in bank to allocate either earmarked allocation to say we need say front end developers or you know or general allocation because they they think they're doing a great job right yeah, that's, and, that's, that that's internalizing the labor market basically right so so little little bit nuanced but important like some differences like the, the, an org unit could pay another org directly and so so again big point here no wrong ideas. I see everybody's people are already jamming on it, which is awesome. Um, I'm going to set a five minute timer and and let me see if I can play some music. Um, I'll do, I'm going to just do a bad job. All right. I'm going to just set a five minute timer and I'll hum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to hum. I won't submit you all to that. <laughs> okay. Um, and no wrong ideas. Oh, nice. We got a song. Okay. We're going to do uh, lo-fi hip-hop. <laughs> um, five minutes, no wrong ideas, everything is great. Here we go. Nice, this is awesome. <laughs> let's, let's, let's go with this, but maybe next time, Ernest, we'll do that. That's cool. Nice, yeah. really want to recommend no bad ideas just go totally ham
20 seconds left. I gotta say, I love Figma. It's such a cool little platform. I wrapped up any last ideas you got there. Okay. Cool. And you know, if people have some more, that's that's fine. Feel free to add them in there. But I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna kind of start start highlighting these and organizing them. Um, and, and see if we can like create some themes and then, and then the goal, see if, if we can organize around themes, but, um, okay, cool. So just starting here at the top, um, for nonprofit dependent on the service they provide, what intangible assets they will, ha they have, will they provide? Um, Janine, was that more of a question? Sorry if I'm doxing. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, I think it, it was a question because it's a question that, you know, depending on their answer, you know, they can provide something. If they're, like, they may have intangible, it, it depends on the, on the answer to that, I guess, is what they could provide. So looking at the nonprofits, what, like, intangible assets they have or providing, they could provide. Gotcha. I got you. So like highlighting, highlighting their, um, what value they're bringing back, like a nonprofit, say it's like, a, a they're running events or something like that, or, or fun, fun times like yoga. Yes. That. And then also, also just like, um, like digital, like logos, um, like digital assets. Okay. So you're like, let me, let me kind of get a, some different like, ideas going over here, like services. Yeah. Is that, oh my gosh, there we go. How's that, is that? That's good. Okay, so we could we can say services. Um, lock up role holder tokens to be distributed at the end of the season. Oh, I, you know, I like this idea. <laughs> um, TL, so time lock-ish kind of ideas. Uh, so that's, I'll call that at least like, like, we'll put this over here a little bit, like, um, uh, kind of, um, timing, time distributions slash tokenomic solutions. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, unused tokens to liquidity pool until needed. Okay, and then that's kind of kind of over here too. Unused tokens to liquidity pool until needed. So like like putting capital efficiency. We'll put that like uh, um, keeping things or having things used while they're not being used. Um, I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna make this area over here a little bit like the the tokenomic area, and then uh, and then Ernest, we got create influencer branding agreements that increase the demand for bank. Okay, like bank integrations. Um, hmm. Hmm. Can I? Mm -hmm. Can I add like a sub idea to that, which is um, almost a subscription? Like I like the it could be locked, but I would propose what if it could be burned? So the the idea would be that you burn ten thousand bank to have access to. You know, so you have a, an agreement that defines it legally, but when you burn it, that gives you access to it for a specific period of time. So it almost acts as a subscription, but you're instead of the treasury receiving the bank because it's a circular payment, you just burn it. Just be kind of fun. I don't. Good. Uh, I. So this is this is an example. I'm, I if I am doing consulting, one way to do that is for me to sell effectively tokens that represent units of time, so that when someone purchases it it with real assets, it gets burned because they've spent that unit of time. So it was just a it's it's a thought on how an alternative mechanism would work and and what would it would be accounting for. I'm not saying it's a good idea, but it's just an alter. It's it's one of the the ways that you could ask them to participate in the in the bank in that sort of agreement. <clears throat> Generally, I'm not super excited about burning mechanisms because I think just putting it back in the treasury is equivalent to burning. I only look at circulating supply, but a lot of people will say, well, if it's sitting, you know, there's this soft rug danger that always exists if it if it sits there but i think the same thing goes for minting yeah and and i i think just to highlight on a high level like no right or wrong ideas here this is more like for us to get everything down what we're, we're going to do is after this we're going to like we're going to uh i'm going to kick off a bounty for somebody to to summarize all this like collect all this and then we're going to discuss the summary probably next thursday and and move toward creating recommendations and suggestions for the DAO because the big point of this is to like is to create different options and for the DAO to to uh you know show some sentiment and it really enable because right now all we've got is like pay stable tokens back to the DAO. Like I, I'm I'm a big fan of like um if there's something going on, there's a challenge with the system, not necessarily like the org unit. And it's a lot of the org units I think want to pay back but there's like, how do they do it? What do they do? And what if they're not making revenue yet? How can they contribute back to the DAO? How do they care? And this creates different options. Um, so, you know, that's that's kind of the big aim here is like start like supporting people with tokenomic ideas and and integrations. So, um, and uh, and just weighing my two cents in. I mean, on I as well. I'm like on burning. I'm like. Mm -hmm. You know, sending back to the Dow multisig is technically like taking it off the circulating supply market. So I'm right. like, I like that a little bit better. But you know, hey, whatever. <laughs> like, um, it, I, again, no wrong ideas. So, cool. And uh, and then Ernest, too. I I I just highlighted agreements because you said create influencer branding agreements. I think and I think your idea is really cool because any agreements with the Dow, I think we could we could take and turn this into that. 
Um, cause I know like dev guild has agreements with different places. Um, like marketing and, or I'm sorry, not marketing, but like writers and others. If that's okay, that I underlined agreement. Yep. Just don't change the color of the post-it. Let me know. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, okay, cool. So scooting over here, think decade. I saw you had one outside. I'm, I'm just bringing this one in and for funding request proposals. How about founders champs own a certain amount of bank before proposals can be dropped? Yes. Um, I think this is important. Ah, it's, there's, there's trade-offs on this one, right? Um, cause like we want, we want this place to be open and accessible. And, you know, also though, we want people to have stake in the game. So that's a, that's a forum, forum, hot discussion. It's a cool idea for sure. <laughs> um, you, you want to add anything? Nah, as we progress or as we mature, I think most of the things that we started with would not hold, right? So introducing new systems is is inevitable um but we just try to find ways of making it open but at the same time to just trying to add new things is very important mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so i guess one conversation with okay how much would you need to to hold before you can go through like a funding proposal etc instead of like no but yeah so oh wow Love the idea <laughs> like it, it's, I, I think that's the, like, this is the whole point of this is we, we keep jam out and stuff. Um, I'm going to put this in, I'm going to kind of leave it right there until we start seeing more, more organization. Um, ask projects to keep X percent of their assets kept in the treasury as bank. Um, Grod, any, anything to add to that? I think that's more just, they need to hold bank. So I'm going to, I'm going to yeah, It's just, I mean, it, it's a sort of a lame idea, but let's just say if you're, if you're asking for us to invest in you, we're asking you to invest in us in the, in the long, in an incentive compatible way. Right. Mm -hmm. And that, that this is an ongoing forever um, request that as you grow, you will need to either acquire bank through whatever process you're growing or go out on the market and, and purchase it. Um, the problem is, is not a lot of these aren't necessarily, you, you can't enforce them, but it would be really nice. It's like treasury diversification um, or, or, or a token swap, but you do it when they're at the, at the beginning of the phase and they promise to, you know, kind of continue with that incentivization between the two of us as you, as they grow. Yeah, and I, I think this is the same idea. Like you're thinking about it at, at the project level, and think decades thinking about it on the individual level. Like for proposals, it's the same kind of thing. Of like, if if we're going to invest in you, if we're, you're going to if you're going to put yeah. up a proposal, you need to invest in us as well. I I almost wanted, and I had that thought, which is people that are proposing funds should have some skin in the game, so that they realize if it's going to create emissions and inflationary pressures that it's affecting those individuals who are, who are cool. sponsoring the proposal. I think, so just want to acknowledge one, one thing that I think is really cool about that is that, because one of the problems is, or one of the things that I see is that like, you know, in the past we've had just like willy nilly proposal this or willy nilly proposal that. And I think, and I think that's part of the problem is that not necessarily alignment around the proposal to the DAO and in one way like alignment can happen is, is the, um, like in either invested something is at stake something could be lost you know um and i mean and we could there's mechanisms we could do with this that could be you know from from the like if your proposal does not pass you lose money we don't want to do that but i'm just just throwing ideas out there because that would create a actually environment. <laughs> actually said that <laughs> that's the apply for a bond right there right okay <laughs> okay yeah that's right nice okay cool hey good. I, so, Not yeah, saying it's a good idea, but it's an idea. Yeah, because so the problem with that is that, that you then get a hostile environment for creating proposals and and unfortunately like popularity contests. And like, what? It, no one needs to know who posted the bond, though. Mm, okay, fair enough. Yeah, 
Okay. Continuing with the ideas, we got, you know, I want to, I'm going to, I'm going to jam just a little bit because I want to make sure we, we hit these. Um, social uh, EIP 1559 bank buyback to a certain threshold from projects that use the bankless brand. Yeah, cool. That's, I think that's similar to, I'm going to kind of put this up here in the agreements, although it's definitely a, like it's more kind of like, I think I hear your thinking is, is like um, a little bit more like on chain enforced right so not um, yeah when i think about like treasury <laughs> management at some point uh that crew introduced i think so I, I look at it like if you create this hierarchy of treasuries and for example bank of Style treasury and the grants committee is supporting projects on the one side you can set a requirement of um yeah you have to buy like you have to kick back 10 percent to the treasury of course uh for example if we agree on that as a community but also um there will be a sort of bank buyback and like until, until a certain threshold is like, just, you know, if you have a project right now that, you know, buying bank at 10 cents, uh, it might be a bit unfair if another project has to buy bank at one, $1 perhaps, but mm -hmm. I mean, it has other implications as well. Um, I don't know. It's like, I, I wanted to ideate a bit on that. Like, what do you think about the threshold thing? Uh, what are the implications? Yeah. And so I, you know, I think that, um, lots, lots of things. And I, I think at this stage, we're just, we're ideating. So it's like no wrong ideas. I think it's a cool one. You're the, the, the problem that you highlight is a very valid, like if, if we set the price point at, um, you know, in USD, then, you know, maybe that's creates unfair externalities, but, you know, we could set the, the price point in terms of like one bank equals one bank. And so maybe it's like percentages of the distribution, you know, they've got to buy back, um, you know, certain, I don't know. That's, that's a tough one. Yeah, um, but, I mean, so, if we create these internal economies that run on bank, we can really like go more towards as one bank, one bank, but because currently we measure a lot of things in, in dollars because our life is actually working. Thanks to virtually in dollars. Yes, that's right. Right. And so I think, does it like grew at what you are saying about these internal economies? Like, does it go towards the right? You can really like use bank as a, as a currency because you can make your day-to-day -day life with it. Well, that, that gets to my create redeemable, redeemable physical purchases that could be purchased with bank. So for example, a gas card that actually defines an amount of a physical amount of gas that you can, and they have these, they just don't have them in crypto worlds. So you, you buy a, a gas card. I don't. You could buy also a, you know, a other. There might be other physical things. It's it's like a futures contract, but for individuals. Yeah. Um. In Sanat, I just I added just some of the notes of what we just talked to to your your card. So. Um, yeah. I was going to add. I think it's 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 index coop also there the way that they. I think it's index coup. The way that they remunerate is there's a multiplier depending on how locked into the system you are. And we've talked about this before, but the, the more invested you are, the more likely you are to get sort of additional returns on either bounties or pay or whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, and I, th I see you hit talking about that one in this card right over here, Grodd. Create redeemable physical purchases that can be purchased with bank. Um, I that think goes in the crazy idea section. I, man, <laughs> these are those are the ones I love. Like this is this is where it's like again, I I orient so strong strongly toward the network state kind of stuff mm -hmm. around, and so like the biggest problem we have is that we can't pay for our rent in bank, but we can dream. Mm. So, and or, so or maybe, we could, or we could buy an economy. apartment complex and then charge mm -hmm. rent and bank. <laughs> that that is I on the, the network state roadmap. <laughs> so that is that is the step by step. So soon, friends. But <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, interesting. Hmm. Yeah. And I'm I'm oh. serious. <laughs> so well, I I'm only like it's tongue in cheek, I should say, but hoping yeah, that we're enough. we're true at some point. I gotta go, but talk to you later. Okay, thanks, Grad. Thanks, Grad. Um, okay, we're gonna. I, I've, I'm where we got eight minutes. Um, I'm gonna kind of scoot over because we we got a lot of. I'm gonna jam through Grad's ideas, and then I'm gonna hit 
um, become an incubator. I love the idea, Janine. I, I, and, um, I think to some degree, that's what we're doing. That's like what grants committee does, but I'd love it. Um, let's see. Uh, Grodd says create internal markets for talent. Bankless first internal markets. Yep. I a hundred percent super support. Um, purchase bank through OTC for treasury diversification. 100% as well. I think that that's we got a big opportunity in that, and, and as Treasury management gets gets really sharp, and then grants committee specifically prioritizes pro projects that would onboard off chain assets into the blockchain. That would could be still digital. That's an interesting, interesting kind of high level. Um, uh, themes. Themes says connect with projects and services that are unlocked with certain amount of bank. So you are you. Um, you have anything you'd like to add on that? I kind of hear like you can access projects with a certain amount. Of yeah, money. so I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm releasing a, a podcast um, and then uh, on Mirror, there has an opportunity for you to like mint an NFT um, in order to get like access. I'm, I'm using another podcast example and like actually curated access to um, that content. Um, and so what I'm basically saying is that like, there is a bankless under project that I'm I'm sub submitting for, and then eventually, as like content gets more exclusive or events get more exclusive, I don't know how to technically do this, but like maybe there's a way for us to kind of unlock specific access to particular services um, using our bank as like or staking a certain amount of bank or those that have thirty five thousand bank. Um, or over would get a special like NFT po up to unlock that just to like reduce technicality. If they sell it, then I guess they'll still have access to that content. But, um, but that's kind of how I was thinking about like, how do we kind of benefit bank holders within projects that are being built within this ecosystem, but that like seem exclusive. So like, if I, like I always use, I'll just say this really quickly is bankless is like the Harvard Right. And so the benefit mm -hmm. of going to Harvard isn't necessarily what you learn in Harvard is your network. And so what we really need to do is like be the Harvard. <laughs> yeah, and I, so I, this I, is basically what this is kind of suggesting is that, you know, by being a bank holder, um, you get access to real things that you can kind of, you know, flaunt I in the it. real world. I, I love it themes. And so does Bankless HQ. Uh, alphas will be released tomorrow. Amazing. Yeah, it's it's super. I love the idea. Big big announcement though tomorrow. Not not the entire one. There's still other components of the roadmap being worked on. FYI, uh, Twitter Spaces is important tomorrow. Um, any themes you say work with projects that can offer more than 35k bank? Is that like like to pay contributors or? Yeah. So what it is is that it's really increasing the middle class. Let's put it that mm. way, right? And so the reason is is that if people aren't members and they don't feel connected to Bankless DAO, once you receive that 35,000 bank and you become a member and and you don't obviously have to sell, then you're more connected to that, and then you're more likely to purchase more bank or hold mm -hmm. your bank. And so by working with projects like, for example, the one that I submitting like one one of the seasons for that project is 60k bank right and so then that person i know who's a gas passer will actually after working on that project in 10 weeks will be an l1 member um and so it's just a way for people to rapidly become l1 members so they feel more connected to the dow so they're more likely to actually hold their bank awesome yeah, I, I I think that's a super cool idea, and I, I think I think that's right in line with your thinking around like consensus and like like them buying, like per their contribution, they um they become um uh, um um like an L one member. That kind of heard your thinking in that yeah, in that regard, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Super cool. Um, I'm gonna include that as kind of like on the services side over here. Um. Let me let me just do a quick. Um, and then these are like financial markets. I don't know if that's right. The right word markets. Um, 
Okay. Um, so it is, we got three minutes um, and it's really important to me to be respectful of people's time. I'm going to, I'm going to scroll down here and just, is, is there anybody or anyone like people would love to just like bring up for some airtime um, or to like to surface really quick? Cause I can't, I love all the ideas. I'm not going to get to all of them apparently. Um, I think these are really cool. Like bear, I hear you kind of hitting the DeFi range down here. Like change the on ramps to the bank ecosystem. Yeah, like more more pools and introduce more DeFi products. Yep, super important. Uh, Ernest. Yeah, right. So so very cool. Like an event that you have to be a bank holder to get access to. Same kind of like that's like it's like a hard value accrual. Very cool. Um, Um, so before we do wrap on time, um, and then teach folks how to use an accumulate, not a big tokens. Yep. And, and I think that could be even be lined in with like services or it's like, you know, the agreements or the like, like, it's like before, before you get access to educational content, you got to have like, like I can kind of see some of these mapping together, neat little ideas. Um, is there anybody that like to, that would like to take this and summarize it for like, you know, uh, a one K bank bounty? Um, basically just looking to like, um, I don't know. Can you guys hear me? Sorry, Paul, say that again. I couldn't tell if you guys could hear me. Uh, yeah, I would like to, you know, summarize all the ideas. You mean like, Put them into just like what you're doing right now, or probably yeah, like, in the like, dog or something. That what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Like create a so in in tokenomics, just create like a a new notes and you know do bank utility summary and just in like just mark down all the different ideas. Because what we'll do is we'll review them next Thursday and then and then move toward creating a document that we share with the DAO as like suggestions.